What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty 2014 and as you guys probably know already, we got our first look at an official image in game. Now unfortunately, I was at work when this image dropped last night, so this video is about 18 hours overdue for when I would normally be bringing it to you guys as soon as I would be able to get it up. So for that, I do apologize, but with this upcoming COD title, I'm a little more comfortable now saying Modern Warfare 4. Now, I do realize that this is not confirmed in any way, shape, or form, but we're gonna be getting to why I feel more comfortable calling it Modern Warfare 4 now. But before we get into the video, like I said before, this is the time of year now where there's a ton of leaks coming out, and personally, it's my favorite time of year. Don't get me wrong, each game I love, maybe not Ghost, to be honest with you, but in this time of year, I get to theorize, speculate, and have free creative passages, and I can be wrong without it being the end of the world in terms of content. Now. This time last year was seriously my favorite because I blew up as a channel because of my theorizing with the game and one of those reasons was because minus a few minor details I predicted the entire campaign storyline months before launch so I don't mean to brag with that but that's something that I do feel accomplished by having done and I feel the need to share around so that same type of thing is going to be happening this year on my channel in the next couple months here but getting back on topic yesterday we got our first look at Call of Duty 2014 no it wasn't huge no it wasn't anything too revealing and no, it wasn't anything too special, but it was part of the next Call of Duty game. That itself is what's cool. It was confirmed that this is an actual in-game shot from the next Call of Duty title. Now, whether it's a pre-rendered screenshot or actually something in-game that we just took from, say, a capture card screenshot, that's still unknown, so it is possible that the graphics will have as much detail as this, but at the same point in time, it's not as well. Now, for those of you guys that do not know, Call of Duty 2014 is slated to be a next-gen first game, and that means that Sledge Hammer is primarily focusing on Xbox One, PS4, and PC over the other consoles. Now, High Moon Studios is rumored to be porting the game to the Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, you may be asking why. Well, the graphical and user intensity has such a higher cap on next-gen systems over current gens. Yes, it may not seem fair, but progress isn't always fair, and whenever we want to look forward to the future, we want to make sure that we use all of our tools that we can to make as great a game as possible. Now, with all that being said, and looking further into to the future past Call of Duty 2014 all the way up to Call of Duty 2015. Like I said earlier in the year, I can almost guarantee that since the focus is on next gen first, that Treyarch's next title in 2015 will be next gen exclusive, meaning that they won't even make a version for Xbox 360 or PS3. But back on topic, the image can really tell us a lot. What we can deduce from this is the fact that it is modern times. I've seen a lot of videos going way too far into detail, just overthinking things and trying to state the obvious in a way that looks more well thought out. Now, since we can see that this is modern times from this screenshot, that is the exact reason why I feel more comfortable being able to call this game Modern Warfare 4 and not just some speculation on what it could be. That as well as another reason is why I feel comfortable. And that other reason is that whenever I throw this image up on screen now, comparing the one that we were just teased yesterday to the one of Sergeant Foley from Modern Warfare 2, well, they're identical. Now, if you remember back to the Modern Warfare campaign, Foley isn't KIA or MIA. He's alive and well, and he can easily be brought in for one more campaign. And just as a little refresher for those of you guys that don't remember the Modern Warfare 2 campaign or didn't really play it, in Modern Warfare 2, Foley and his men were in a last stand at the White House. They were under siege by the Russians, and Price's EMP was crucial in their survival. Now, him and his men got out of there just in time before the entire complex was bombed to clear out all the Russian forces. Now, that being said, they vowed to get revenge on the Russians. So, where can that leave us to bring Sergeant Foley into the next campaign? Now, Foley can easily be used as a main character. If he finds out that Makarov wasn't the only bad guy on the playing field, I can almost guarantee that he'd be up for tracking down Shepard. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'm referring to the theory of Shepard being the lead antagonist of this upcoming game, where he leaves the Shadow Company, and the main campaign idea is to track down the last loose end in this storyline that is anything villainous. Now, for those of you guys that are skeptical, there have been rumors that Sledgehammer has been saying they're not going to be doing a Modern Warfare 4, but with this image being so closely related to Foley, it's kind of hard for me to believe that rumors circulating around the interwebs. But who knows, it's possible. Maybe I'm wrong, and we don't have any leads on a Modern Warfare 4. Maybe this is only just a character model modeled after Foley and not actually him. 
him. It's still possible. All we have is a 1024 by 475 pixel sized image, and right now we're still in the dark, but like I said earlier, it's something rather than nothing. So to recap, we got our first little leak and very minute look in at Call of Duty 2014, but hey, it's something, and it signifies that the floodgates are going to be opening. This is my favorite time of year. Like I said earlier, I love being able to think freely about what may be coming, and if you're interested at all in anything Call of Duty 2014 related, why not subscribe to stay connected and stick around for what I have coming up. Now, that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace for your OG like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best Call of Duty 2014 content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. Any leaks, information, all that kind of stuff, I'll be one of the first people to put it up on my channel for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.